I was born on the island of Guam because my father was working as a contractor for NASA at the time. And so I grew up with Neil Armstrong's autograph to my father on his wall. And my father valued two things. He valued science and education. And he never got a college degree. So one of the things that he wanted to make sure that me and my siblings did was go to college and pursue a career in science. I would define science as a process. It drives me crazy that people talk about science as fact. Science is not fact. Science is a process that we go through to understand our world better. And that view changes with time. And the reason why is because our technology and our understanding become better. Science is not perfect. And it never will be because humans are involved in the scientific process and humans to, are flawed. But the process is what we go by. People want to live in a static world with no change. Everything changes, including scientific knowledge. We are absolutely seeing an attack on science in this country. People don't want to take science and data because they want the easy route. They want somebody to tell them what to think and what to say and what to believe. But science is work, it's a process. And so most people don't want to engage in the scientific process. They just want to sit there and get information and be told what to do and what to believe. As a teacher, one of the things that I try to do is to teach my students how to find good information and think critically about their sources and what that means. And to, to question whether or not they're finding reputable sources, to question whether or not the information that they're getting is correct. And it takes work. I teach a variety of classes from sustainability, geology, geologic disasters. I teach historical geology. I teach planetary science and the way that Earth changes. And then us as humans, how do we adapt to that change? When I first started teaching, I had a lot more resistance in my classes toward climate change and climate science. But now my students are coming in and they're like, what do I need to know? What, um, what can I do? And so there's been a real shift for me, which is nice to see in my classes, that my students actually care more about the environment and they want to know what they can do. You use the same processes uh, that scientists do every day. You make observations, you make predictions about how things are going to happen, and then you test that. A great example is driving to work. You know, every day you might take a different route based on observations that are happening, like what is the weather like or what's the traffic like outside. And I mean, people make decisions like that all the time. People cook every day. Well, that's chemistry. Basically, what I'm saying is that science is in every aspect of your life. If you're passionate about music, there's science in there. If you're passionate about art, there's science in there. Science is in everything. It's not about becoming a scientist. It's about taking the things that you're passionate about and looking for the science in those things.